what we see right now is quite unthinkable like 10 years ago. So we have the confluence of three, four forces that have all come together and creating an avalanche, a huge change in the industry. So we have the physics, the processing power and the cost of storage all coming down. Then we have the increase in bandwidth, so the, the proliferation of devices, so the growth of internet and the number of users and the number of devices, these are all mind boggling. So what is happening because of all these fundamental forces, we see cloud computing as one of the key areas where the model is completely shifted. So from in-house operations spending a lot of capital expenses to really going after the, the computing as a utility model that we talked about many years ago, now it's coming to fruition, just like electricity, just like water distribution, telephone networks. So we have cloud computing where you start renting computing power in an elastic way. So big data is again a huge big uh, movement and uh, in this one we see uh, petabytes of data uh, that, is, that is being as amassed through sensors. I talk about big data has three V's, there is a volume, there is a velocity, there is a variety. So data actually, volume we all understand, we are talking about petabytes and, and exabytes and yottabytes and jettabytes, you know, all these big numbers. And the total amount of information in the world right now is 1.27 jettabytes and supposed to be 35 jettabytes by the year 2020. So this growth is mind boggling. Now, this data is not in rest, it's also in motion. That means data is moving. So streams of data are moving. How do you capture stuff from moving data? For example, trade data. How do you look at trade data and make some snap decisions? So that's the velocity part. Then there is the variety part. There's all kinds of data. There is images and videos and text and, and, and uh, sensor data. So we, are, we have to now, a lot of technology is coming up to deal with this. One of them is the whole Hadoop and MapReduce, so it now deals with petabytes of data at companies like Facebook and Google and Yahoo. And enterprises now are moving from EDW, Enterprise Data Warehouse, which was data warehouses based on relational database, on structured data. Now they are moving to combine that with, complement that with unstructured data, sitting on massively parallel computing power in, in, in the commodity processors, running an engine like Hadoop's file system and the computing, distributed computing processing. So all of this is creating enormous opportunities for everyone. Data scientist is a new kind of a role, which is a combination of mathematics, statistics, and domain knowledge, and some technology. This data scientist is able to find out information and ask the right questions so that business can start making use of it. And there is a prediction that there's going to be a huge shortage of these kind of data scientists. So in, in a nutshell, what we have to do is ride on these waves of cloud computing, big data, and mobile devices. All these applications are all surfacing in small real estate of iPads and iPhones. And how do we surface these applications no matter where you are? All of these are using the cloud infrastructure. So I see the future as extremely promising and very bright for every one of you.